Let's take a look at timer links. Now I've got three screens here, an intro screen, then a screen with a loading state, and then the final screen with the content loaded in. Now I want to animate from the intro screen to the loading screen with this title sliding up. And then after a moment, the loading will finish and the content will fade in. So to have this automatic transition from the intro screen to the loading screen, and then automatically transition to the list screen, you can use the timer link feature, which is really easy and really convenient. If you select the screen, so I'm going to start with the intro screen, select that, go over to the inspector and click timer link. You can set an amount of time to wait before it automatically advances. So I'm going to set 1500 milliseconds, which is 1.5 seconds. And then after that amount of time, it'll go to the target screen, which I'll choose here. It's going to be the loading screen. And I'll make a new transition for this. If you don't know how connected layers work, you should watch our tutorial on that. But I'm going to use the connected layer feature to connect the titles in both screens. So I can really easily make that slide up. And then this card here, I'll have that slide up as well and fade in. So that's my little transition from the intro screen to the loading screen. And now I'm going to do it again from the loading screen to the list screen. Set a timer link. I'll use the same amount of time, 1500 milliseconds. This time the target is the list screen. And I'll make a transition for that. Now probably all I need to do here is fade out this top screen. And I'll make that a little bit slower. So the content just appears to fade in on top. I'm going to make one last link, a regular link, from this content back to the beginning. And I'm just adding this one so I can more easily test out um, this flow and get back to the beginning. Okay, so here in the preview, I'm going to click the Home button. We're automatically going to transition from here to the loading state and then to the content state. So let me click here to go back to the beginning. We've got screen one, screen two, screen three. So using the timers, those automatically advance using the transitions I specify. It's a really easy, convenient way to simulate things like loading states or any other time where you want the screens to advance without any user interaction.